there is no separation. All consciousness, all life, all awareness is one. November 19, 2016, by John Smallman. As all in the spiritual realms have told you many, many, in fact countless times, there is no separation. There is only God, Source, the field of divine love in which all of creation is eternally and endlessly creating, there are no beginnings or endings, there is only now, harmonious and ecstatic music, to use an allegory symphonies, concertos, sonatas, choral works, operas, musicals, pop songs, romantic songs any form of music that is, by its very nature, love in action. Remember, I am only using music as an allegory, and I use music because everyone resonates with music in one or more of its many and varied forms. Music is one. It demands perfect cooperation, acceptance, and harmonious agreement between the performers, and an intuitive knowing and understanding that unites them so that the music flows, without thought or effort, directly from their hearts. So, to repeat, there is no separation. All consciousness, all life, all awareness is one. Within the illusion this has been forgotten, although throughout the eons a few have become aware of this, and have attempted to share this knowledge widely. But very quickly their shared insights have become corrupted, diverted, and grossly misinterpreted. Churches, religions, belief systems, political systems, and harsh regulatory systems have then been established by those who would control you to do just that. Now those unjust and utterly corrupt systems are collapsing as the rot and decay within them eat away at their foundations, foundations so deeply buried within the illusion's collective psyche that they cannot even be accessed, let alone repaired. Enormous changes are firmly underway, that will bring unimaginable benefits to all forms of life that are presently ensconced within your illusory reality, where survival depends on physical or influential strength and the conscious intent to avail of it for that very purpose. Humanity has for eons been seemingly buried in an unreal world of mistrust, betrayal, and conflict, while at the same time seeking the exit. Everyone suffers no matter how wealthy, healthy, and powerful they appear to be, because in the end all die, leaving behind all that they had accumulated as they lay down their physical forms. There is no escape, everyone dies, and because you have come to believe that to die is terminal, the end the abyss into which all will fall into non-existence, it is terrifying. However, there is absolutely no need to fear. Fear is of the illusion, it is unreal. You constructed the illusion to experience separation from source and, therefore, added various apps to fill out the illusion and provide it with an intense sense of reality as you surfed through it as embodied humans. As a human you find the variety of options it offers overwhelming, and your little and severely limited brains through which you engage with the illusion cannot cope. However powerful and intelligent you may appear to be, complete understanding of the illusion is utterly beyond you. The answer to this dilemma is, of course, to awaken. And that is exactly what is happening right now all across the world. Your task, as partially awakened ones, is to continue holding your brilliant light on high, and to engage in every interaction with another and make no exceptions here through your true, divine, and unalterable nature, love. All conscious entities are pure love. There is nothing else, but within the illusion you collectively chose to hide that knowledge from yourselves because it would be impossible to imagine or experience separation while knowing that you are love, and only love. Love is now awakening in every human heart, and as it does so, all the buried or denied emotional baggage that you have been carrying is rising to the surface, erupting into your awareness to be released. And this can be, and often is, shocking for you. Do not attempt to block it, that only increases your pain and suffering. Allow it, observe it, offer it love, and let it go. That is all you need to do. As you allow you may well find yourself sobbing your hearts out, but just sob, weep, and watch as it dissolves, bringing you a tremendous sense of freedom. Keeping it buried has demanded enormous energy that has been draining you physically and emotionally. When you let it go you will find yourselves feeling invigorated and far more alive, in fact filled with great enthusiasm for just being, with an enthusiasm that appears to have no source, no reason, no cause. Well that of course, is your natural state. 
When you let love arise into your conscious awareness and reside there in every moment, your whole life experience changes. Worry and anxiety fall away because there is nothing to empower them, and you realize that you need nothing in this moment of now. There is only now, and that becomes dazzlingly apparent. You will be amazed at the vastly increased energy that has become available to you. Nothing that you need do to fulfill your human responsibilities will overwhelm you or exhaust you, your life will flow powerfully and enjoyably, and any challenges that arise will be dealt with lovingly, competently, and wisely, without either conflict or a sense of apprehension, because you will know that you are divinely taken care of in every moment. Even those of you who are ill, no matter what form or expression your illness may take, will find increasing peace and acceptance building within you as awareness grows and intensifies that where you are in this moment is precisely where you have chosen to be, and that from here forward, you are constantly and most lovingly supported as you head purposefully and powerfully toward your destination, your awakening into love, into awareness of your oneness with Source, of your eternal presence. Within God. Truly, unimaginable joy awaits you all. Your loving brother, Jesus.